Good evening. Here is the news at 6. First, the highlights. Lagos State Government raised its commitment to finding solution to flatten and the LAA seizes over 100,000 illicit drugs in three months. On the Farrington, Gaza sees fire talks intensify in Cairo. In sport, former Nigeria footballer Ifai Udeze was NFF against imposing assistance on Superigo's coach. Now, the details. I am Taiwo Barua. The Lagos state government has reiterated that it won't back down until a holistic solution is found to the issue of flattened caused by man-made problems across the state. Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tokumba Wahab, stated this in an interview after an inspection tour to System 1 Drainage Channel Midstream, Odoyalaru, Arujobe Estate, and Mende Vila Estate, Maryland Section. The tour is aimed at taking a second look at the alignment and putting a human face to ongoing enforcement along the System 1 corridor. Wahab explained that the System 1 drainage channel midstream, which cut across Ogudu Ojota, Ifakobagada, Maryland, and Ajota, was with a setback of 140 meters that has now been reduced to 100 meters to reduce collateral damages. He added that the original dimension was 140 meters of the drainages, but the state government is willing to put a human face to the enforcement process by moving 60 meters to Ugudu Maryland section and 40 meters to Ugudu Doyalara section, which makes it 100 meters. According to the commissioner, flood and noise pollution and unlawful blockage of drainage channels represent critical challenges that have negative impact on the lives of our citizens that must be tackled in order to have an aesthetic environment. Lagos State Office for Disability Affairs, La Soda, has again called on stakeholders in the disability community to advocate for policies and initiatives that promote diversity, equity and inclusion in the workforce. General Manager of La Soda, Adenike Oyetunde Lawal, made the call during the commemoration of the International Workers' Day event organized by Projects Enable Africa. Oyutsune Lawal highlighted the importance of inclusivity and the huge role it plays in the growth of the economy and joining players to em employers of labor to endeavor to include a percentage of persons with disabilities, PWDs, in their organizations. He said the pivotal role which diversity, equity, and inclusion play in shaping the work environment and the economy at large cannot be overemphasized, pointing out that every individual, regardless of disability, has a role to play in the development of the society. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation has blamed the lingering fuel scarcity in the country on panic buying and sharp practices by some petroleum marketers who are exploiting the present situation to make more money. The company also vowed that a few queues across the country would end next week, noting that it had enough liters of fuel to end the scarcity. Petroleum marketers disregarded with the disagreed a bigger pattern with the position of the NNPC, insisting that in a decreased supply is a major reason for the persistent fuel scarcity. It will be recalled that the LNPC spokesperson, Femi Shoneye, assured that the ongoing shortage in supply of petroleum products and queues of the products would be cleared by May 1. According to him, the company had more than 1.5 billion liters of petroleum products available enough to last for at least 30 days. He added that some individuals might be exploiting the situation to maximize profit. President Bola Tinubu has given the assurance that his administration will continue to put in place policies for the industrialization of the country. Tinubu said this when he received a delegation of the African Association of Automotive Manufacturers and the Nigerian Automotive Manufacturers Association. 
It urged the association to look into producing vehicles that would be affordable for all categories of Nigerians. As the government rolled out customer consumer credit for millions of Nigerians to purchase vehicles and other important goods and services. Now to the rest of the stories, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency has seized not less than 115,244 kilograms of illicit drugs from January to March 2024. The NDLA also arrested 4,329 4, drug traffickers. Over 1,000 cases were charged to court and 1,018 convictions were secured within the period. These figures were contained in data obtained exclusively by our correspondent from the agency. It also noted that over 34,000 kilograms of cannabis farms were destroyed within the period. Chairman of the agency, Buba Mawa, said, with support from partners, there has been a significant milestone in the ongoing fight against the scourge of drug trafficking and abuse. The World Health Organization and other stakeholders have urged the federal government to reduce dependence on external funding and increase data availability for malaria elimination in the country. The call was made at the stakeholders' engagement on rethinking malaria elimination, an initiative to help redefine strategies in the fight against malaria in the country. The WHO Regional Director for Africa, Mashidiso, Moiti said the organization is behind Nigeria's ambitious plan to accelerate progress towards malaria elimination. He said malaria life-threatening disease caused by parasites transmitted to humans through the bites of infected female anotheos occurs regularly and a widespread across and it is widespread across Nigeria. Moiti urged the government to increase data availability and access for both government agencies at the national and sub-national levels for public use. In foreign news now, efforts have intensified to secure a deal for a ceasefire in Gaza and the release of hostages with talks. Resuming in Cairo, Hamas said its delegation was traveling in a positive spirit after studying the latest choose proposal. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said taking the ceasefire should be a no-brainer for the militants group. Hamas negotiators have returned to the Egyptian capital to resume long-running talks brokered by Egypt and Qatar that would temporarily pause Israel's offensive in Gaza in return for freeing hostages. In a statement released, Hamas said it wanted to mature the agreement on the table, which suggests there are areas where the two sides still disagree. The main issue appears to involve whether the ceasefire deal will be permanent or temporary. In sport now, former Nigeria footballer Ifai Udeze has warned the Nigeria Football Federation NFF not to impose assistance on Super Regus head coach Finidi George. Finidi is reportedly not willing to work with his former Super Regus teammate Imano Amanike and Daniel Amokachi, who are favored for the assistant coach position. Amanike and Amokachi also applied for the head coach position. There are reports that the former winger is already shopping for a foreign assistant. But there's a posited that any move to impose an assistant on the new gaffer will be counterproductive. And that's it on the news at six. But just before we go, please do not drive beyond specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X Traffic Radio 961, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at Traffic Radio 961.ng. Did you know that the Seoul administration trained? 78 persons and placed 12 under the Talent Development Program, TDP, a student loan program aimed at training young persons in tech skills and placing them in employment. You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. 
The Lagos State Government has reiterated that it won't back down until a holistic solution is found to the issue of flooding caused by man-made problems across the state. The National Drug Enforcement Agency has seized not less than 115,244 kilograms of illicit drugs from January to March 2024. We also told you that effort have intensified to secure a deal for a ceasefire in Gaza and the release of hostages with talks resuming in Cairo. Finally, sport former Nigeria footballer Ife Odeze has warned the Nigeria Football Federation NFF not to impose assistant and Super Eagles head coach Finidi George. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Zainab Adibeshi. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good evening.